y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the basement as I'm finally getting a chance to return to Lucifer. This is season one, episode two, and I'm super excited. The first episode, the pilot, was so much fun, lots of good dialogue, so much so, in fact, that it took me, I kid you not, eight, eight attempts to get it up on YouTube. Each attempt's approximately an hour. So needless to say, going forward, I can't spend that much time trying to get something to go through all the gatekeepers. So please keep in mind that if I miss your favorite scene, your favorite line of dialogue, whatever, it is not intentional. I want to put all of it on YouTube in these videos if I can, but it's just not gonna happen. I will do my best, but it's not gonna happen. <laughs> But I guess that's why it's good that I have full episode watch long available on Patreon. If you should so choose, you sync up your copy with me and we watch it together and have a good time. But yeah, I really don't have anything else to say because I just want to get to it and watch it so much. So, okay, we're going to get under the big cozy blanket. I have some water nearby. I hope you have your favorite beverages as well. And just let's just get to it. <laughs> well, don't you be so angry about it. Enjoy the ride. Have you seen the kiss of the devil? Every, every day. In, the mirror, <laughs> in our every moment of weakness, look at this world. The sin, the lust, it is the devil's touch. So what's he going to get him to admit in the microphone? Yeah. Uh, why don't you move your stick along? Okay, I'm not sharing my tips with you if that's what you're angling for. Oh! <laughs> the two back into Spider Man down the street. I have to say, you're very good. Yeah, so why don't you go bother them? You're bad for my business. <laughs> the devil isn't finished with you yet. <laughs> you see, what I hate more than anything is a liar, someone who doesn't believe in what they say. So Lucifer would have more respect to him if he actually felt. You know, like sinning was bad and repent and what's not. I'm gonna have so much trouble editing this down. Oh my god. But uh, those were the old me. These days, you just have plain old Lucifer. And you've left hell behind to take a vacation in Los Angeles. Yes, question. How long has he been in Los Angeles? Like, when did he leave hell? Last we spoke, you were bothered about feelings of humanity. I was, yes, but I've good news for you on that front. I'm healed. Yes, back to my normal devilish self. No pesky empathy to be found. For now. For now. You like to hide insecurity and humor, don't you? <laughs> I don't have insecurities. Mm. What do you think I'm insecure about? That you are changing, but that you don't know what's causing the change. A who? We'll pick this up next time. What? There, why do I feel like you're getting more out of our bargain than I am? Yeah. Ooh, hello. <laughs> that was one thing I loved what he said about the therapist in episode one was that you know, she was one of the more complex ones where he got what she meant. He knew exactly how she felt, but she was a little bit more stronger and just letting it all out as opposed to just having this doctor character be constantly horny all the time, which she is, but she's also providing a little bit more of the intelligence and introspective part of it instead of just sex, sex, sex. I think that made sense. I'm enjoying that. I didn't order a drink. Courtesy of the owner. He asked me to make you something you'd like. What's in it? It looks delicious. You and Lucifer seem really close. I followed him through the gates of hell. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> <gasps> she took our cherry? Literally? <laughs> Now for somebody who was like, okay, we've done our deal. I'm done with you. 
she's back again. Your name really is Lucifer Morningstar. And as far as I can tell, you didn't exist five years ago. Five years, thank you very much, Chloe. How did you survive getting shot six times by Jimmy Barnes? When I see something I can't explain, yeah, I look for answers. Well, I've given you the answer, Detective. It's not my fault you won't accept it. I think you like me. What part of the look on my face gives you that impression? No, no, not... The fact that you were there at all. Period. Dot. Detective, I never knew you cared. <laughs> this is a dream. <laughs> or is she checking him for something? No bulletproof vest. I don't figure out your secret, Lucifer. Not a secret if I'm telling you the answer. It's... <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. Yes, um, please send me the address. I, I owe you one. And why is it the X? There has to be other officers on this force she has to deal with. Who's the victim? Robbie Russell Jr. The son of the movie star? He wasn't in the business, was he? Didn't stop everyone from wanting pictures of him. You can't be involved in an active case until you're off medical leave. Well, that's why she was so excited to finally get a case. I was like, why has she been on a case? Yeah, bring him. <laughs> They just let him through. <laughs> if I don't affect you, I'm curious as to what does. Who's that? He's a paparazzo. Had a little running with him during your hot tub high school days, did you? Huh? Is that it? Yeah, you could say that. He's a cockroach. You want to talk to him, don't you? If you desire something, to take it. Lucifer, what are you doing? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> sure. <coughs> wow, he aged. So he aged. Someone. You're not going to get away with this. I want to make sure of it. You're right. Say that again? You're right. I went too far. I'll confess. He's protecting someone. Hey, Who? neither one of you are supposed to be here. Especially you. <laughs> Come on. So if she got a call, why did she show up? If she wasn't supposed to be there. That's not enough for you, is it? You hate that dumb beetle. Are you really going to try and prove his innocence? She wants justice, not vengeance. I'm speculating. Where do we begin? It's so cold in the basement. I'm going to die. Look, he was about to tell us more before you came and took him away, Dan. You know what? His car's have a scene. He confessed. Just promise me I'll look into it. I'll do my job. As well as he did the last Your case. Weird club owner sidekick with you before I arrest him. For what? Well, let's start with smoking pot at a crime scene. <laughs> Sorry, do you want a hit? <laughs> Stop paying me. You brought pot to a crime scene? I well, certainly did not. I found it here. And you just decided to smoke it? In the dung beetle's car. You smoked evidence? Well, it would have gone to waste otherwise. Any sign he'd recently lit up? Well, there was uh, a roach from another joint, freshly smoked. Yet he didn't seem high. Maybe he wasn't alone. Where's the roach? Well, I added it to my joint. Where's the best part? <laughs> Is that his house or a nightclub? Either way, it's a maze balls. <laughs> Cause I wanna make it back from the dark, dark, dark. Hello, old friend. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about that for half a second. Brother, I'm disappointed in you. You were once the brightest of all of God's angels, Lucifer. Wow, they're having this discussion a millennia later. You saved a human life, Lucy. And not for any selfish reasons, no. You did it simply because you cared about that detective. Your time here on Earth is affecting you, dear brother. You're changing, but usually you're the one controlling the change. This time you're not. Now, does that scare you? Because it should. Those are terrible photos. Terrible. Mommy? Yeah, baby. Are you looking at another 
last night. No, why would you think that? And I thought you were supposed to be getting ready to hang out with your dad. Who is early, apparently. I don't think it's Pops. Mm-hmm. And how did he know where she lived? I thought I must have gotten the wrong address. Okay. Someone got it for him. What are you doing? Still not 100% sure what his power set is. Although it did appear that lightning fast speed isn't one of his talents. Right, on you go then. Go on, fetch away. <laughs> so, so how do you afford this place? I don't. It's my mother's. Yeah, your mother's Penelope Decker, queen of 80s cheeseball sci-fi. Yeah. You have to introduce me. Well, you're mad at the dung beetle. You must have done something salacious in your youth. What was it? Did you kiss a girl and like it? And two girls. Okay. An Eiffel Tower. <laughs> What's an Eiffel Tower? Oh, you would know what an Eiffel Tower it's is. It's so when two chaps high five at the top, then the young lady. You're, was like, you were acting in Hollywood. You know what an Eiffel Tower is. Mm -hmm. Hello there. I He's just gonna stroll in. I'm afraid I can't. He's just going to stroll right in. And any evidence he collects is inadmissible in court, correct? Correct? Correct. <laughs> right? Now, I'd like to know about Chloe Decker, and you're going to tell me everything. I was going to say, that's an invasion of privacy. You have no right to that. But it's Lucifer. He has no filter, no barrier. <laughs> boundaries, that's what I'm looking for, boundaries. She started in Hot Tub High School and revealed her rather spectacular assets to the world. Right. And two weeks later, her father died. So I knew, of course, everyone in the world was gonna try to get a shot of them leaving the funeral. But I got my photo. Right when she punched the lens. I mean, right then. I cracked the lens right now. And I made so much money off that photo. I'm sure. At what cost to my soul, right? Hmm. Mm. And that would be for someone else to decide. It should have been. Except he's right there. <laughs> and after that, I just did everything I could to keep others from making the same mistakes I did. Who are you protecting from following in your footsteps? I can't. It's, I just, I can't. You want to tell me, don't you? Please, just look at me. I won't, I won't. Look at me. I can't. Look at me! I already spoke to the police about my son, Robbie. I'm just following up. I want to make sure there aren't any suspects we overlooked. But I was told Nick Hoffmeister confessed. Wait. The victim is supposed to be the son of this man who looks like he could be a brother. <laughs> so I was followed by paparazzi all my life, just like Robbie. But you know, that wasn't my mom's fault. And you gotta know, it's not your fault either. I wanna make sure we get the right guy. I'm telling you, I don't think Nick is him. There was one other paparazzi. This is supposed to be the dad. <laughs> Decker. He did what? <laughs> How did you get into Nick's holding cell? Why oh, by asking very nicely, of course. Something you should try sometime. Are dung beetles protecting someone who's following in his footsteps? Protégé, perhaps. And someone's been uploading photos online today from Nick's company. Our killer could be there. <laughs> right. Are you coming or what? Oh, sorry, I thought this was the part where you leave me behind and say something like, Lucifer, stay, good devil. <laughs> I'd rather keep my eye on you. Sure. That's what she says. Or claims. So, how do you plan on catching our murderous prodigy anyway? Well, I was thinking, what if you never left the scene of the crime? Well, instead blended in with the other paparazzi taking... Ooh, that's an idea. Spike. You know, I think our dung beef, of all things, desires redemption for what he did to you. Yeah, well, he's not going about it the right way, that's for sure. Yes, well, we all know what the road to hell's paved with, don't we? Hello, hello, hello. From the crime scene this morning. Mm-hmm. I remember him. And he's got a snarl. Oh, so that's a bonus. Hey, it's Chloe Decker, Penelope Decker's daughter. Chloe Decker. Chloe, look over here. Chloe, look over here. Show us your boobs, Chloe. <gasps> show us your boobs. 
not me anymore. Well, it's still very much me. You, Fryta, <gasps> tell me, is this depravity really all you want out of life? I want to win a Pulitzer for photography. By doing paparazzi? Yeah, they don't give out Pulitzers for nip slips. <laughs> It's not that bad, is it? Trixie's classmates all have the internet. She's finally gonna find out about how to high school. Great. Did a little more digging. The guy's name is Josh Bryant. He freelances for Nick. Thanks. Why are you doing this? Yes, why are you doing this? Because I think you're onto something. So, go figure it out while I buy you some time. Lash is rude. He's trying to Anne Hathaway it. Oh, sorry. Did I ruin your creepy little moment? <laughs> I felt so bad about what happened. I'm a huge fan. Hot Tub High School was my favorite growing up. What is it you want, Josh? To be first. To always be first. Really? His teeth are super white. Wow. Yeah, I learned a lot working for him. He's my idol. He's the best pap out there. Was. He was. Just a second. <gasps> How did he know someone was going to go up and slap hey, her? Just lucky, I guess. for me to call someone's morality into question, but I believe that photo was planned. Totally. Celebrity shouting matches, fist fights. Josh had the first photo on everyone. It escalates, overdose, suicide, so it appeared. So he follows Robbie, intent on running him off the road, but doesn't count on his own car running off as well. This is cold, premeditated murder. Mm. We know Josh is guilty, let's punish him. Eh, I could have an ironic twist like I used to when I ran hell. I need concrete proof. <sighs> I'm gonna talk to Nick. Boring, 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 boring. You need to decide who gets punished and how. That's exactly what I do. <laughs> no, no, you don't. <laughs> Not anymore! She's making a really good case for him to go back to hell and do hell things. I think I've said everything I need to. You're right. And I agree. Let's go deliver some punishment. <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh? God. He caused all these? Yeah. All of them. Told him about all the lines Pap can't cross, you know, because I just, I just wanted him to stop making the same mistakes I did. And then two days ago, he calls me up, says he's been in a really bad accident, said that he totally understood everything I was saying now. It's, it's too late. It doesn't seem as if he learned this lesson. Nick, if you don't testify, Josh will do this again. He'll do it again. Unless Lucifer drove him off the road. No, I'm not following Josh. Why? What do you mean he's missing? Someone let him out? Where did Nick Hoffmeister go? Did somebody get him? Why, yes. It was that tall, handsome British fella. Oh, no. I did it too, didn't I? He just waltzed him right out of jail. Past a bunch of people. Just celebrities hate you. You know, they need you. Keep you in the limelight. And he didn't kick up a fuss on his way out going, this doesn't seem right. <laughs> the, the trouble is that you try to change... Yeah, and you failed <laughs> spectacularly at it. I see a parallel. I see the parallel. Just bring them a gift. In the trunk? <laughs> in the trunk. <gasps> I'll kill you, you crazy bitch. What is this? What is this? Oh. 
Both of you have committed terrible acts worthy of punishment. However, you will not receive said punishment when you die. It's my fault, really. Sorry. So I'm here to fix that. Right now. <gasps> you both get a gun. Let's see who shoots who first. Wow. Wow. This escalated. He's about to rat you out to the police. And he tricked you into taking the fall for a murder he committed. <laughs> Discuss. <laughs> Discuss. You killed people. Nowadays, the only way to be first is to realize that there is no lie. But to kill people! I can't do this. I treated you like a son. <laughs> oh! Wow! Wow! Yeah, I didn't see that one coming. You really would have killed me. Wow! I made a mistake. Okay, I realize that now. Detective, you're interrupting my punishment. You tried to change. Yeah. And look what happened. Yeah, you screwed up, but you know what? It's okay. You tried to change. That's what's important. Yeah, you know, perhaps I'm onto something. Oh, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna? surprised to hear from you lucifer well he was praying but uh i wanted to tell you you were right so you'll return to hell what no <laughs> i've changed in my time here and i've absolutely no control over it and you know what free will that feels positively thrilling because he has free will you should have taken the offer So they're both in the back of a police car. <laughs> Is this some stage thing to get a confession out of Josh? It's probably more plausible to you than my angelic brother slowing time while I pluck a bullet out of thin air, isn't it? You know exactly what I'm asking you. And you know exactly what I'm answering. Mm hmm. Are we going to watch a movie, Mommy? No, babe. I just wanted to talk to you about something. <gasps> We gonna watch a movie. <laughs> and I was in a movie. In the movie, I do some very silly things. It is what it is, and, and that's not me anymore, okay? I know. Hmm? I've seen this before, Mommy. Where? I have the internet. <laughs> this isn't even in HD. <laughs> That is hilarious. My favorite part is when you ate too much cake and then you puked in that cute guy's hair. <laughs> wow, she watched the whole movie? I hope that I hurt you got in lots of trouble. You know, I should go see him. You know, I'm so very used to being in control of everything. Not knowing what's going to come next. It can be scary. No, <sighs> I'm finding it quite exhilarating, actually. <laughs> the unknown! I think you're right, by the way. Then it may be a who that's changing me. But now that begs the question, what do I do with her? Hey, Jimmy. I was so wrapped up in recovery, I forgot to come visit. You know, from when you shot me. What happened with Lucifer? She said the name. Lucifer. She said the name. No, Jimmy, he's not here. Jimmy, you're safe here. Not if he smashes his head to bits. He's the devil! He's the devil! Well, it seems as if he's the devil if you do things that irk him. <laughs> Things you shouldn't be doing. 
So some things we got answers on. So he's been away from hell for five years. Lots of things we didn't, such as why after five years, and I can't remember his name. It's just a big long word. I see and Andrea Phil, angel brother. Has he been coming to Lucifer every day saying, you need to go back to hell, you need to go back to hell, you need to go back to hell, or is it just now? And if it's now, why specifically now and not two or years ago or three years ago? I like the whys. Why is my favorite question. Why now? And then also the conversation about who's, you know, dad's favorite son, cast him out, what not. Millennia. It's been millennia. And they're still talking about it now. <laughs> okay. As I mentioned earlier, Rachel Harris, who's playing psychiatrist. I like her little bits. <laughs> as in her scenes Chloe I'm not sure how I feel about her yet I think what what is blocking me and what's missing me is such the constant reference to her being in a film where she was naked it's all about her looks her looks her looks and not about her intelligence and skills and the fact that it's so harped on I'm hoping that's just this bit and we can move away from that and focus on other things about her. I think that makes sense. I was also finding it odd that episode two, we're already getting the Lucifer going, okay, I needed to get away from hell for what specific reason? And again, why? Why five years ago was that after millennia? Did he leave hell? comes to earth to do what specifically just have a good time, be away from his responsibilities, meets Chloe. He starts to develop, I don't know, interest in things and empathy. Is that what it is that he's discovering empathy? And by episode two, he's realizing, oh, that's what's happening. Things are happening. I can't predict it. I can't control it. And instead of being afraid of what he can't control, he's excited about the possibilities of what else will happen out of the blue. And we're getting that in episode two and not in episode seven, eight, nine, ten. So it makes me wonder what else is going to happen then? <laughs> There's lots more show to go. So yay, we're moving along quickly, but also, ooh, is this almost too fast? And I said it again, and I'm going to say it for a while just to bring on the home point. If it doesn't make it into the reaction, I laugh pretty much the whole time during this whole episode. It's all the bits that I find humorous. I, they're probably, they're not going to make it. They're not going to make it in the final cut. So just know if you don't think I'm enjoying something, I am enjoying myself thoroughly. <laughs> so now we have more of our toes submerged into the pool that is Lucifer. I'm so looking forward to what happens next. And I'm so glad that you're all with me on this adventure. You all are making this experience that much more fun. Yeah, I can't wait for more. So thank you so much for joining me. And in the meantime, please, as always, take care of yourselves. Stay hydrated. Uh, if you haven't already, go eat something. This is a reminder, go eat something. Toast, as always, is magical. And then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all, and until next time.